हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी वर डूइंग द ईवीएस लेसन ऑफ साइंस वन वी हैड सीन अबाउट व्हाट इज एयर पोल्यूशन व्हाट इज वाटर पोल्यूशन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ पोल्यूशन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज सॉइल पोल्यूशन और लैंड पोल्यूशन एक्चुअली व्हेन वी टॉक ऑफ पोल्यूशन ऑल दिस टाइप्स ऑफ पोल्यूशन आर इंटर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर इंटर लिंक्ड विथ ईच अदर but we are going to see separately first and then we will see how they are interlinked with each other when we talk of soil pollution or land pollution we are talking about this mother earth this land or this soil is also getting polluted because of so many activities being done by human activities or human beings now human beings are continuously modernizing themselves modernization and industrialization is resulting in the these types of pollution this pollution is mainly because of the chemicals which we are using in agricultural plants or the chemicals which are produced and we are using in the industries and factories in the foundries now what is a foundry the foundry is where the huge burning is taking place that means in the metallurgy part where we use the big blast furnace for burning there the that type of factory is called as foundry so these are producing large number of pollutants and this pollutants are getting mixed with the soil or the land in this part we are going going to see mainly what are the types of soil pollutants that means the pollutants which are creating this soil pollution i have just given you the outline we'll go through this outline the types of soil pollutants the first is pesticides now what are pesticides the pesticides are chemicals which are used by the farmers in their agricultural fields now why they are using pesticides because they have to protect their crops from pests and these pesticides are nothing but chemicals which are made by man or it is made in factories man made product these pesticides contain number of chemicals if these pesticides are used beyond the limit which is re required what might happen it might stay in the soil and this makes the soil quality poor so this is one of the soil pollutants that is pesticides second is inorganic pollutants as i told you many factories and industries are using number of elements that is metals non metals metalloids now these are inorganic pollutants which get mixed with the soil in some way or the other it might come out through gaseous state or it might come out through the sewage from part and this organic pollutants may contain mercury arsenic nickel cadmium lead which brings too much toxicity in the soil they may change the ph value of the soil they may create large amount of problems for the organisms living in the soil so these are the inorganic pollutants one of the types of soil pollutants third is radioactive elements now radioactive elements might also create number of number of problems in the soil radioactive elements might come from nuclear power plants or other power plants or where the research for from the radioactive elements is going on they get mixed with the soil fourth type of soil pollutant is organic waste the organic waste consists of the sewage from the domestic part the sewage from the um, or the dead plants and animals coming from the agricultural part the burnt fuel so all this are forming the agri the organic waste the organic waste also contain the human etc the kitchen waste and all the other things which are used in the household also so this causes pollutants and this can be called as organic waste pollutants the next type is airborne contaminants airborne means which are produced and it is uh, going in the air and then settling down in the soil they may be burning fuels when we burn fuels like fossil fuels or wood or coal or charcoal we are using it as a fuel the fuel is used it is giving up giving out heat and light but then it is remaining there as in the form of ash and that ash goes down in the soil as pollutant then smelting and mining smelting is a part of uh, metallurgy part metallurgy means 
the extraction of metals from their ores. So this is one of the one of the method where large amount of heat is required. As I said, blast furnaces are required, and they may produce number of products which can get mixed with the soil if they are just sending the sewage into the mud. Mining coal mines are producing so many types of pollutants which are getting finally mixed in the soil. So these are the types of soil pollutants which are mainly responsible for pollution of the soil. Now well, we have seen the types of soil pollutants but from where they are coming there might be some sources for these pollutants to enter the soil or the land. The sources mainly are divided into five, four to five types. The sources can be industries. Now there are so many types of industries which we have developed. We the human beings have developed for our own development. So they, the industries can be chemical industries, paint, paper industries, paint industries, pulp mills, the industries which are used to uh, which are making power plants and they are producing large amount of fly ash. These are just the examples of some of the industries. The industries can be also the extraction of metals as I said large amount of pollutants are produced there also. So industries is one of the sources of soil pollution. Second source is domestic waste. The domestic waste, the domestic waste means the waste coming from the household. Think about what your dustbin contains. In the whole day, what do you put in your dustbin? You put pieces of paper, might be glasses, might be plastic, might be kitchen waste. Then there might be polythene bags, there might be some other things which are not required. You clean the house, you think many things are not required, you just put it in the dustbin. So all these things which we are putting in the dustbin actually forms the domestic waste. It can be anything right from pencil, rubber to cardboard, paper, plastic, polythene bags. Then uh, all the kitchen waste, all this is forming the domestic waste. Chemical fertilizers. The third source is chemical fertilizers. Now we are making use of fertilizers in agricultural field. Why are fertilizers used? Actually, the soil may get depleted of some of the major uh, inorganic salts which are required by the plant for their growth. Plants require mainly nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and these nitrates, phosphates, potash are available in the soil but they may get depleted because of the various reasons or the fertility of the soil is not so much. So to increase the fertility of the soil so that the growing crops get the ingredients which are required the chemical fertilizers are added and when the chemical fertilizers are added some of the nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus are absorbed by the plant but rest get absorbed in the soil and they may exceed some level which can turn into pollutants. Then fourth is very important which is biomedical waste. Now there is a big huge medical industry in our country or in every part of the world. If you, even if you go to hospital once you will see that they have kept in every room different different types of dustbin and they have identified as green, red and blue. Now why? Because various types of pollutants are produced from the medical side. For example, any operation is taking place, some body parts are being replaced, blood is coming. So that forms the body tissues, the bones, the muscles, the body organs. These are the parts of human beings which are getting treated. Along with that syringes, unused medicines, gloves, needles, then uh, injections, then blades. So all these things are used and so many types of instruments are there which if it is not working they throw it. So um, many types of cotton, then gauze, so all these are the biomedical waste. So these are coming from the medical industry which is very important to dispose of first. This is creating a major problem as one of the pollution sources and pollution and this, if it is not controlled they might and they might undergo a huge change in the system. Then fifth one is the pesticide. As I said this pesticide if it is overused what happens 
the good bacteria which is present in the soil like the nitrogenous bacteria like the rhizobium they may get affected because of this pesticide they may kill the rhizobium bacteria also which is responsible for nitrogen fixation and such overuse of pesticide also leads to too much of pollution in the soil so this was the sources of soil pollution and here we talked about the types of soil pollutants now both are very important to understand what will be the effect on us or what will be the effect on human beings living organisms biotic and abiotic factors in the environment so majorly if we just see outline we can see that there are number of um, effects on because of the soil pollution first effect diseases we are exposed to so many pathogens because of these types of soil pollution and these pathogens what are pathogens the pathogens are the microorganisms we are which are actually spreading the diseases those pathogens are entering the system through in the water through the water through the soil through the air and these are creating so many diseases in human beings even the diseases in plants and animals are also present which can be seen because of the pollution second is loss of fertility and productivity of soil we saw that pesticides domestic waste industries they are producing so much sewage which contains so many chemicals so many elements so many inorganic substances that they are slowly removing the or decreasing the fertility of the soil if the soil fertility is decreased obviously it is going to affect the productivity of the crop so it is all interlinked too many pollutants less fertility less fertility less more much more less productivity of the crops so this is all a chain reaction if one of the part of the chain is increasing the rest is also affected then third this soil pollution can lead to water pollution obviously all these pollutants all these pollutants are present inside the soil due to flooding due to the upper layer of the soil being carried away by the water what might happen they may go and mix with the water bodies so as i said as at starting of the lesson all these types of pollutant pollutions are interlinked with each other and this can also lead to water pollution and water body or the flora and fauna present in the water also get get affected largely fourth radioactive materials and soil contaminants they move into the crops now if i if i say that radioactive elements are going inside the crop or the soil contaminants so many types of contaminants are going inside the crop where they are going they might be absorbed by the plants they might be eaten or go into the system of the livestock and livestock means all the animals which are dependent on the plants then it might go through the plants through the animals into the humans through the food chain so who are getting affected the affected people are human beings animals and plants so all the organisms are getting affected because of the sand uh, sand pollution or the land pollution soil pollution water pollution or air pollution so these were the three pollution which we had studied which are all interlinked to each other next two types of pollution which we are going to study is first is noise pollution and second is the pollution due to radioactive substances let's see what the soil pollution or noise pollution is about